Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat. It's time to play back in Dyson Sphere program. Let's see. I got this zoomed out. I wanted to show you where we're at here as far as our uh, energy matrix production and our power production. So our energy matrix production, again, is lackluster. You can see over here in the distance our research labs. We've only got one that's firing off periodically. Our research, I switched it over to the thruster that takes a thousand of the what does that say science matrix energy matrix i see it takes a thousand uh energy matrix or matrices and i picked that because we need it i think well, it was one of these things we need at first vertical construction level i think it was this guy was requiring it um so it's a precursor. We need it in order to do our logistics stuff that we want to get the uh, titanium off the other planet. So I just got that started and let it run for a while. Um, but yeah, we're not producing a lot of these. We also have a backup now of the refined oil. And that's not a bad thing. We're going to turn that into, and we were thinking about this last episode, we're going to turn this into additional hydrogen. So... At the, and at the very end of the episode, I was just kind of pondering, you know, in order to do the processing to get the extra hydrogen, we need a couple units of hydrogen coming in and one oil, and then we get three out. And I was just kind of pondering whether we should just feed those back into ourselves or how that would work. Now, I haven't figured out a way, and there probably is, there probably is one to have the overflow on a belt when it backs up, have the overflow go route somewhere else, but only if there's an overflow. I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, let's see. We have, do we have, uh, let's see. Let me take a look in our construction menu. It's further complicated by the fact I'm playing like three or four different factory games here at a time. <laughs> not, not at all, not at all at the same instant. But uh, each week. So let's see. I don't think we have a notion of like a, a true splitter. We have the sorter. We have plenty of sorters. There's a splitter right there. So we do have it. Okay, I can set the filter and priority on any one port. Perfect. That might be perfect. All right, cool. Now, I didn't realize that you could set a priority on these guys or a filter for that matter, but the priority is cut on what I want. Uh, let's see. We need, we know we need to make another refinery. So let's go, let's go do that. Uh, hopefully I got enough. Let me just check my inventory, make sure I didn't already make it. I don't see it. So let's get another one of these guys going. I don't know that I have the materials. Of course I don't. And what do we need? This, this one for some reason, that may be my color blindness. I've got plenty of stone, but this one, I always have the hardest time figuring out what it is that we're missing. That's not it. It's this guy. Okay. Here it is. The steel. Okay. That's not hard. Uh, let's go get the steel and build another refinery. We got steel right nearby here. Oh yeah, remember it was hard to kind of it was hard, it was hard to collect this because we're not really uh, set up to store this right now. Boy, there's so much to do. There's so much we could do to improve things. Um, it's hard. Let me know in the comments how you guys approach this. Do you? make everything perfect before you move on to the next stage or do you chase after the next stage until things just become uh, really ugly or you hit a nasty shortage and you just have to go back and address it for me i'm usually chasing after the next feature you know i'm chasing after the next accomplishment and then i only come back to perfect things when i'm when there's a problem and like right now we're do i want to i really want to be working on the structure matrices the yellow ones but we've got this issue that's been lingering for a while with our red uh, energy matrices. The production's just been lackluster the entire series. And so I'm kind of going after that now. But I suppose one approach would have been I could have taken more time in the beginning and just uh, really perfected that and balanced out all the hydrogen. 
and done that right from the beginning and I wouldn't have to go do it now. But definitely let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Um, interested to know how other people kind of face that challenge of, of how to prioritize what you do in your factory. Like again, do you perfect it right from the beginning, each little step and go slow? Or do you kind of go the approach that I've been doing, which is I'm trying, you know, I'm trying, <laughs> I want to get to building the uh, Dyson sphere. So I'm trying to move up that tech tree as fast as I can. But in the process, I may be slowing myself down. All right, let's go ahead and build that refinery. We should have what we need now. If we don't, what else are we missing? Oh yeah, it's this thing here. Now, what is this guy? We have coils. Do we have enough coils? And we need this glass. I got plenty of stone. So what is the issue? There's some, okay, here it is. We need more uh, magnets. We got a bunch of those. Of course, way far away. But we have a bunch of those down here. Let's go ahead and get Icarus flying. I don't know if there's a way to make them fly faster. Uh, where are they? We are looking for magnets. I think they're down this way. Do, do where are you right here all right boom oh hard landing sorry icarus all right let's take that and see if we can finally build our refinery and keep this train moving boom good that's all we need one for now is fine let's uh how is icarus doing on power pretty good actually not too bad boing boing let's go back Over here somewhere. Alt to come down. Boom. Yeah, those landings early on, they were pretty pretty rough if you uh if you played some of the early builds. It looks like they improved it a little bit. He doesn't land quite so hard and thunky. The refinery takes a minute to build here, which is a little bit of a bummer. Let's take a look at the research and see what's next. We've got our structure matrices, and and now we're kind of looking at we don't want to have to shuttle this resource back and forth to titanium. And in order to get around doing that, traveling between the planets with Icarus and having him haul it, I think we need to get this interstellar logistics system done. So it takes the data cubes and we'll get that all going. In fact, we'll, I think we have enough titanium on us now to produce the uh, structure matrices that we need. We need 120 for this guy and then in order to unlock it, right, you got to get this guy too. And he needs, I mean, this one needs 80. So that's 200. I think we brought back enough titanium to make that. And then once this is unlocked, the uh, interstellar logistics station, and I imagine we have to, we have to build one of these on each planet. It's going to take those high strength titanium alloys you can see at the bottom. And then it's going to take those, uh, forget what the name is. I just researched it though. It's down here. This guy, it's going to take some of these particle containers. So we've got, you know, we've got our work cut off for us. There's plenty of work we need to do. Looks like there's a recipe. Of, I'm guessing that's silicon down there. And we do have silicon on the other planet or a silica. Maybe I was just looking at the construction, the second recipe down on this one. I think that's copper and silica, but I could be wrong. Anyway, we've got we've got a lot of production chains left to uh, pursue, and we've got a lot of um, of these matrices that we're going to have to process through the research labs too. So it's going to take a little bit of time. I just noticed that this one has a prerequisite as well. This guy needs vertical construction level one. We can probably queue that up. We're about three quarters of the way through our current research. Vertical. Vertical construction is, where is it? Um, is it here? Energy storage. Where is vertical construction? That might, that's not over on the Icarus tech tree, I don't think, is it? It might be. I think it actually is. It's kind of strange, but let's see, where is it? Yeah, vertical construction, it's way over here. 400 more uh, of our red energy matrices, of course. That's the one that we're slow on. 
But yeah, let's go ahead and pop down our refiner and then we'll we may uh, have a couple goes at this to get it perfectly set up. Let's see. Yeah, we, we don't want that rotation. Let's uh let's maybe how about like this for now. Boom. Yeah, and my biggest question is just should we be continuously taking oxygen or the hydrogen off this line? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's uh let's get it started. We know we're gonna need power. Am I in the power grid? It looks like I'm not. Let's go ahead and grab a Tesla tower. That's probably not a bad location for it, right there. Now we've got power, let's go and pick a recipe we want this time, the other one that we haven't done yet, right here. We're gonna take in the hydrogen, we're gonna take in the refined oil, I need to find a home for that graphite and then we'll get three hydrogen out. So we're trading oil for hydrogen and uh, energetic graphite. That's a worthy trade because we've got an excess of the refined oil right now and we've got a shortage of the hydrogen. So this is gonna help a little. I mentioned, I think in a previous episode that I don't usually do very compact uh, factories when I build. I usually kind of try and lay, lay them out, spread them out a little bit. Um, I know others do do it differently. The other thing I'm a little weak on is getting the perfect ratios between all of these machines. I usually don't bother thinking about it too hard. So that may be hurting us in this particular playthrough because it looks like you really have to spend some time balancing out your energy production and your, and your uh, refined oil and your hydrogen and all that. And this was an aspect of Factorio that I wasn't crazy about. Eventually I got it you know, figured out or worked out pretty well, but it wasn't my favorite part of the game. All right, let's go ahead and get this stuff into our refinery. I think this guy can reach. Yep, and then this guy can reach there. That all looks good. And now we need to do a couple things. Before I forget, let's go shut down some of our energetic graphite production way the heck down here because we're going to start spitting out a fair amount of uh, graphite right where we're at. So I think I may actually just take these smelters up. Just, just, just put them in inventory to tell you the truth. We can leave one going. Uh, and hopefully we'll work through this backlog. But uh, once we get more, boy, we could, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just thinking out loud. I think we could run two of these refineries. Where are we? Uh, yeah, we could run two. Oh, bear with me. Just lost my bearings here in the dark. Where are we here? This is our, okay, we got to come out right here. Yeah, that's our guy right there, our new guy. So we could do, hmm, no, that's our plastic production. Where is our, okay, one more over. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm thinking we could do one more actually too. We're going to need more, we're going to need plenty of hydrogen. So I wonder if I can just dump this out. Hmm, I'm just thinking this through. Thinking this through, thinking this through. I think, I think I want to run this hydrogen right back out onto this belt. So let's try it. Again, we may have to have a couple of goes at this. I haven't planned it out in advance, if you can't tell. Or if you haven't noticed, I should say. And then let's, we'll put down a filter. We're going to make sure we filter this as we bring it out. And then where is that? Press tab. I want the hydrogen coming out here. Boom. All right. Nice. And then the next one, we'll pop another one down here. I think another refinery. Let's see if we can get it built. I don't know if I have enough. I probably have to go get more steel. Oh, not bad. Cool. So I think we can use, I think we have plenty of oil to process. I think we can use that hydrogen. 
Uh, look at that. It's just loading up now. We've got at least two of our three research labs are, are coming. There we go. There's the third one. That's going to help quite a bit. I want to put another one down. And then the next challenge will be uh, routing those um, energetic graphite through. And maybe I do that line right through here, right through our little storage cache. And uh, maybe we can empty that guy out in the process. All right, let's see. Did our refiner build our second one? Let's uh, let's see if we can place it. Oil refinery, boom. Not yet. Not yet. Where are you, oil refinery? Okay, still building. And then we got to figure out a route for our energetic graphite. This is going to be more hydrogen as well. Once we start processing the uh, structure matrices, we're going to start chewing up plastic, and that plastic is going to start uh, chewing up the oil, and then our refiner will spit out a few extra hydrogens as well. So we're really amping up the hydrogen. And the more that we send in, the more energetic graphite we'll consume. So hopefully this will all be like a happy, a happy balance. All right, let's just do these as mirror images. I think they can, or not mirror images, but uh, in sequence here, I think these can be pretty close. I don't think I need to jump through or jump out of these belts at all. I like that. That works for me. And we do have to jump over with our, our oil line here. Let's take that up a little bit and see if we can't lift it up and over here. Uh, boom. Okay, here, and then we'll go up as soon as we can across. I think that's fine. Boom, and then can we get back down quickly? Oh boy, is it not gonna let me? Why, why not? Well, we'll try that and see. Hopefully I can grab off of that belt. We'll find out. Uh, we need more power. Yeah, we may have to tweak this. Let's see. I don't really want to be right on top of it. How about up there? We can adjust these later to look a little better. Boy, that sure seems like a long distance for that little ramp, doesn't it? I wish I could come down up and down like a lot quicker. That seems high. I'm going to try one more time. I don't, I really don't like the way that looks. It seems like it should be easier and to get a shorter span going. Let me give it one more shot here. There's power here, but it's, it's kind of quirky. So It's a little hard to tell where you're at. Now, I'm one more down, and I can't do anything, right? See, it gives me problems. So I go a single click up. Boom. And now I got to get down. Down, down. Yeah, see how it's... Can I... I cannot. Like, I don't want to span this. Down, 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 nothing. Up. Down. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't let me down a little sooner. Let's try deleting that out again. Boom, boom. Try one more time. We can make it work. If I have to move the refinery debt back, I'll, I'll do it. But it may just work like this, but this is the part that's driving me crazy, right? So it looks like I'm fine. It's just the last little node that's not, doesn't want to place. But then I go one more and it's like, it does the same thing. Oh, look at that. That looks better. That looks a little better. That looks a little better. All right. Let's keep it moving here. There's that. And then now can I get, <laughs> can I get my hydrogen from this lower belt? Let's find out. 
you into you, maybe? No, don't want to? Looks like that one will work. That's mm, somewhat unexpected. Let's set the recipe, and that's the one. Yeah, it's working. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and get the output from this guy going. These are all going to back up until I can get that uh, energetic graphite out of there. But We'll get that next. We'll get to that next. Okay, we need to make sure we filter on this guy. Boom to boom, and then tab to filter. That's what I want. Hydrogen coming out. Okay, nice. For a minute there, it looked a little dark. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Now I can see that that placement was not so great <laughs> of the uh, my little power tower here. Let's let's take this guy out and, and find a better spot for him real quick. I just I kind of want to put a belt there. Uh, that should do it. It's not great. I'll fix it. And then these guys are going to run off on the same belt. So this energetic graphite. And I got to hop over. Where do I want to do it? Uh, why don't I just hop over both of these guys? I'll start down here because it takes forever to get up for a long distance, it seems like. Okay. Boom. And then I'm thinking, come back down. Uh, if I have to, can I? That's not too bad here. I didn't want to do a bunch of zigzagging, but I cannot extend that anymore. Well, can I go up and then just like that and now come down like this that's kind of what i was thinking this is kind of what i was thinking and it may be a temporary solution hopefully i'm not creating more problems for myself here we go we'll load that in and then we will take it out and that will be kind of a buffer for now at least for this supply Go ahead and get these guys dumping out there. Oop, gonna make sure we have filter. There we go. And one more here. Boom. Tap tab. Boom. All right, there's our energetic graphite. Okay, so now we should be getting we should be getting a lot more hydrogen. So we'll see. We'll let this thing run and we'll see how it how it does after a while, where the backup's going to be or where the shortage is going to be. We should be sending in a ton more hydrogen. Still got plenty of oil to process. It doesn't process very quickly, it doesn't look like. Yeah, it's not the fastest process, is it? Yeah, that's not great. It's not, not great. So we're just getting like <laughs> for each one of these cycles, we're only getting like one extra hydrogen. So this isn't sweeping me off my feet in terms of uh, improvement, but it is an improvement. We could do kind of out of space. I could put two more here in series. It's going to get us more energetic graphite. So uh, yeah, I could put two more on this side and basically just mirror image this. I don't know if I can, if I've got a good place to reach for the refined oil. I guess if I extend this one out, it would be flat and I could reach, you know, if I put another refiner, two refiners, like literally right, right on the other side of these belts. I wouldn't have a problem grabbing the hydrogen, I don't think. Reaching over and grabbing that might be hard with everything else that's already here. These these two sorters are going to get in the way. Oh, let's let's let that go for a while and just see how we do. We can come back to it. 
research is almost done. Yeah, and then there's a the risk of this guy filling up and everything kind of choking. Just looking to see if there's any other opportunity. make this good hmm not really sure because we need some hydrogen in the beginning we could dump out hmm yeah we could dump out some hydrogen out the back of this guy and put a belt going this way and then put a splitter here and let the refined oil come down next to that. So you'd have three belts here, and then there might not be enough room, though. Might not be enough room to, to put two more refiners on this side. Just kind of looking at it, just trying to get, get my head around where we could expand this, scale this up if we wanted. just hard jumping over belts here. I mean, the space it takes to jump over belts is pretty crazy. Seems pretty, that seems pretty, that seems pretty long. Uh, but it is what it is, and it's working. All right, we're actually starting to get a backup of oxygen here, or hydrogen. I don't know why I always call it oxygen. A backup of hydrogen here, so I think we're good. I think we're good. I think this is going to be just fine. Actually, better than fine. We could. Let's see here. I got to finish my sentences. I think we could stack up another three research labs and run this hydrogen, you know, down the side, just like we did with the other research labs way over here. Got two rows of them there, or two stacks. We could do that here. Okay, we unlocked our thruster. We're doing the stacked uh, construction that we need. So that's researching. So we're fine to spend a little time thinking about this. Um, 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 what is this guy taking? He is taking in these guys. And what is this? This line. Oh, no, no, no. This is going through this way. I see. I see. I see. That is our... That's our energetic or energized graphite, energetic graphite. Hmm. And that's just basically coming down here to feed that. This guy does use it though. Um, but we could just extend that out and put three more. And just make sure that we're burning through all this oxygen and a bunch of this other stuff. Okay, I gotta go sit under a charging station. Let's wrap this episode here. Uh, I'm gonna look at this a little bit, I think. Because we've got this excess hydrogen starting to back up, which I, I'm happy about it. I think we should be looking at putting more uh, research labs here, at least another stack. Because we want to take advantage of this and, and we don't want stuff to back up and stop. I want to take advantage of that. That'll chew through more of our energetic um, graphite, which is a good thing because we've got plenty of production of that. That's so easy to scale up, it's not a problem. So we might as well be taking advantage of this extra hydrogen. We'll just see if it backs up or not. Let me get under a charging station while I'm babbling here. Power's gonna go, <laughs> our power network's gonna fail a little bit while I do this. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, enjoy having you here with me on this journey of Dyson Sphere program. I'm anxious to get to build in the sphere. <laughs> I feel like we're several episodes away from that. But I hope you're enjoying the content with me here. Um, I enjoy, like I said, enjoy having you here. Uh, put some comments under the video. If you things you think I should do different in the game, comments on the channel, anything you like, I read them all. So until next time, this is GliderCat signing off saying, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.